Ladies and gentlemen, Indonesia is a state which is inspired with a vast of natural resources, which become the backbone of the Indonesia economy, and also a state which is crying out industrialization. Activities of extraction of natural resources and industrialization have created positive impact to the state economy as well as negative ones. The negative impacts of economic activities, among others, are economic loss of other sectors, loss of biodiversity, and threat to human health that finally will reduce positive impacts of economic activities themselves. Therefore, the Indonesian government in 1982 enacted the first modern environmental act, then replaced it with the act number 23 of 1997 and again 2009 replaced the letter with the act number 32 of 2009. The Environmental Act basically establishes legal policies that purport to prevent environmental problems from occurring and to overcome legal problems that result from a court environmental problems. The Environmental Act is empirically significant if it is implemented and enforced. We believe that in order that the courts can play their roles in environmental law enforcement well, judges need to understand well spirit of legal principles norms and instruments established in the Act. Their understanding can be gained from training or education on environmental law. Therefore, the Supreme Court of Indonesia has established environmental law certification program for judges. Under this program, only judges who have been certified can hear environmental cases. The training for judges in environmental law is one of important component of the program. The training activities will start in 2013. We also fully support the role of ADB in facilitating forming of the Asian Judges Network on Environment because through it, judges in Asia can have exchanges of their experiences in environmental law enforcement and can take benefits of such sharing of experiences for better environmental law enforcement. Thank you.